You were rated the number two player in Oklahoma and the number three tight end in the country by ESPN. I've never had a chip in my life. Potato chips? Mm -hmm. You're a three sport athlete. Do you know how many offers you had? I think like 34. What made the Razorbacks to the one? I puked before every game. I have to. There's a stranger in my bed. There's a pounding in my head. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Riding Around Show. Today we have Luke Haz. Jefferson to the end zone. Doesn't matter. It's Haz with the touchdown and the two-pointer. What's up, guys? Today we're going to be talking with you about committing to the Razorbacks, your first home game experience, and some uh, expectations for the season. Let's hop in, bro. Yeah, fam. Pharrell on Mars with my fellow star. I'm like lightning striking in a metal rod. I say hello, God, and the double bar. So damn it, MX, I got a yellow card. Yellow card, yellow card. All right, you ready? All right, let's do it. We're off. Seat belt so this car doesn't beep at us, yell at us. We're in a hundred thousand dollar Ford Lightning, all electric. You ever been in an electric car? I have not. I like the way it sounds though so far. You can't even tell when it turns on. Mm -mm. Yeah, we were trying to figure out if the car was on or not. But yeah, shout out Lewis Ford. They uh, they put us in this. I, what type of car do you drive normally? I got a Ford F one fifty. I just got two years ago. Okay, so similar to this, yes. just gas. So we're saving the planet for the show. Oh, for sure. I like it. <laughs> All right, so I got to start with, how was the first home game experience in Razorback Stadium? We're, we're turning the corner right now, looking at it. I loved it. Good saw. Pressure comes from the edge. They feel it. Throw to pass, and he'll have the first down. So you're a tight end. What, what is, like, your, I think you're the first tight end we've interviewed, but what's your favorite thing about that position, particularly? Is it the blocking or is it more of the catching and running? Being able to block and do both that stuff is awesome because it keeps us on the field longer. And just like the knowledge that you have to know about the game also goes into effect. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what is going on at campus. I just saw the cops, I was like, what is? Oh, something's going on. Oh, okay. So you're from Bixby, Oklahoma. Yes. I was talking to somebody about this. We get a lot of guys from Oklahoma. AJ Green's from Oklahoma. Cam Little's from Oklahoma. There's probably six other guys from Oklahoma. I'm like, I didn't know we were kind of, that's a recruiting hub, but yeah. What's the difference from Bixby to here? I'd say it's very similar. I mean, the people here have been amazing and supportive no matter what. Not that in Bixby, it's not like that, but just- More fan love here. Mm -hmm. We're a college sure. town. For sure. What's Bixby? Uh, a big football town or? Yes. Okay. We've been a successful program for a while and that's all because of Coach Montgomery, our head coach. Okay, so you just leveled up. You just went to a bigger football town. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you're a three sport athlete. Football, basketball, yeah. and track? Yes. Yeah, to look, at, look at my notes real quick. Cause that's, that's kind of uncommon. Uh, I mean, that's definitely uncommon, but was it hard to just pick one? I fell in love with basketball. I didn't even like picture myself playing football until COVID came around and my, my twin brother is actually on the team. He, Dylan, right? Yes. Dylan Hines. He pushed me in the weight room during COVID because we didn't have any of our AAU tournaments and stuff. So I think I put on like 25 pounds during COVID and he said, you might as well try and try out football. Well, so you started playing football in like? Sophomore year of high school. <laughs> That's actually crazy. And uh, you're a four star recruit. Was that just cons like, what is it? I'm blanking on the C word, consensus? Or was that for one sport? Uh, just for football. Oh, so you, in two, in two three years, you became a four-star prospect. I guess so. That's <laughs> crazy, bro. When I was picking up the car, they were like, that has every option on it. You're gonna have some, you're gonna have some fun. I was like, dang. All right, y'all, quick interruption of Luke Haas' episode to let you know that Lewis Automotive Group is the official car dealership of the Ride Around Show. These are all their brand new electric Mustang Mach-E's, and these are the all new redesigned 2024 Mustangs. But they also have Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram locations all across Northwest Arkansas. If you're in the car market, Check them out and tell them the Ride Around Show sent you. Now back to the episode. You were rated the number two player in Oklahoma, um, the number three tight end in the country by ESPN. That's, that's big. Razorbacks have been done, doing some good recruiting. And you had offers from almost every power college in the country. Do you know how many offers you had? Uh, I think like 34. That's crazy. What, what made the Razorbacks the one? Honestly, them just staying after me and the love, like the genuine love that Coach Pittman and the staff showed. And I just knew if I came here that I was gonna get treated 
the way that I think every athlete should be treated. And, I've, and I've like the coach, fan base. Oh yeah, fan love's crazy here. I've heard coach doesn't make it about money, Pittman. He's like, he actually got mad because when players would come on visits and they were asking for money. So yeah, he's, he's the athlete and the playing and like the person is the most important. I'm a counselor last week for my punter, for my, some old linemen. I'm assuming for being from Oklahoma, the, you're, you were down to OU or Razorbacks. <laughs> yes. So if I were to put words in your mouth and guess, but. <laughs> to be honest though, uh, growing up, I was never an OU or OSU fan because my sister came here, she graduated two years ago, and then I had an aunt who went here. So, I mean, I was never a big OU or OSU fan. And to this day, I still don't have much love for OU or OSU. <laughs> that's good, I mean, that's good to hear. I, I'm sure the like, Razorback fans would like to hear that. But you had a little, that's good to know you had a little Razorback legacy coming in. You played in the Under Armour All-American game, top 50 players in the country. How did they, how's that game set up? They can select you just based off like high school film and stuff, or you can go to a camp that you get invited to and they pick you to go to the game, but it was an awesome experience for sure. It could probably, I mean, put you on a stage to get scouted, but also just networking with other good players across the country is pretty cool. I think it was the best thing to do, especially coming right before college, just to go against like that caliber of guys. Jefferson flips it open, has again, waltzes in. The freshman tight end from Oklahoma has made a huge impact. What was it like when you started practicing against Razorback, the team. We have some really good defensive linemen, so I mean, it definitely pushed me to be better. Ah, ah. <laughs> That's as fast as the Tesla, y'all. Do you have a favorite NFL team? I like the Dolphins, just okay. because, I mean, I like their colors and their uniforms and stuff, but. Mine's the Packers. Packers. But, yeah. Even with Rodgers and Devontae Adams gone. <laughs> this is from Mary Jane. She said, ask Luke how he feels about chips. I've never had a chip in my life and I don't plan on it. Potato chips? Mm -hmm, no, never. maybe one day she can change my opinion though, but. I'm not judging, I'm not judging. I'm just confused. <laughs> Who's the funniest teammate? Campbell is up there for sure. Andrew Armstrong is pretty funny. I've heard some freestyles from him that he probably doesn't want me to talk about, but. <laughs> Who'd you click with first when you got here? I'd say me and Tesla got along pretty well whenever we got here. Just That was our last episode, shout out him. <laughs> I've learned a lot from him with routes and stuff and then just off the field, I feel like we've clicked pretty well playing golf and stuff like that, but. Are you and your brother Dylan who's on the team the same age? Yes. Twins? He's two minutes older than me. Okay, I was about to say. He plays safety. Okay. Nobody open, still seeking a receiver. Long to downfield! And Haas got behind everybody! The play they needed! What are some passions or hobbies outside of football? I love to go to the lake. That was a big uh, sell for me in recruiting, was coming up here and going to the lake with some of the, the people on the team. Because there's so many different aspects that can affect somebody's recruiting, and it's just based on that person. If it's other players that are here, if it's the city, if it's the money, if it's the any of that stuff, but yeah, that's yeah. funny. It's like, he's like, I wanted the lake, man. <laughs> I wanted the lake. <laughs> oh, I guess I know another interesting fact. I puke before every game. I have to. Explain that. <laughs> it's just something I've done, and like, Right before the game starts, I get this weird feeling. It's not like I'm nervous. I just feel like I have to do it in order to play at my potential because I feel like I need to do the same thing every week. So that that's just one of the things I have to do. All right, well, I think the audience definitely got to know you a lot better this episode. <laughs> for sure. Maybe um, a little too much. <laughs> Maybe a little too... Hey, that's what the Ride Around show's for. Um, but yeah, I think we'll wrap it up with a song. I appreciate you coming on. Oh, you said you want me to floor it a little bit? Oh! I tried to sit up in it. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah.